listen up. Make sure you close up. Can I talk? What are your thoughts? <laughs> Let's go! All right! Make him pay. Yep. Okay, let's go.
let's go. I'll just add this. Well then. Oh. Hurting my ass. You got a problem with my swanky interior? Yes. 
circles. Take. Five. We're done here. Let's go. Yeah! Victory! Okay. Let's go! It's not my fault. What was that? Come at me, bro!
Let's go. Hold on. Persona! McCoy! Yes, you are good for something, Skull. Persona! I missed! Really? Let's do this! Go! Persona! Don't move!
Okay. A stylish victory. Yes. 
man. Vibes from me. isn't something you get to do every day. Well... Farewell. 
<laughs> Losers. Hmm, nice work, team. Okay. Here's 
not much. Your thoughts. Farewell. Now's the time to retreat! Hitting its weak point isn't an option. No way! Show me got the clue. How you are knowing. Let's do this! You can hit their weak point? Persona! This is our chance. You can hit their weak point! I'm not over yet! Persona! You can aim for their weak point! Cool! Looking Don't cool, move. Joker! Okay. They were too weak to bother with. Joker! A treasure chest! Let's open it! Whenever I try to study, I end up playing games instead. Persona! You can hit their weak point? There! Oh, 
these tunnels are so echoey. Shall we begin? Do you know the answer? This is it. Correct.
go. Hey. Wanna get going? Head back. Well, shall we begin? Let's get started.
Okay, class, let's get started. Ooh, we can do this! Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <gasps> my goodness! I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay... What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious! Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses! Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. 
I'm Motorame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Matarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese-style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame. Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are ya? I think I will. Crap, look at the time. I'll see you later. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But how did you discover such horrible deeds that were hidden all these years in such a short time? This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart too. Were you related to those as well? Hmm. I see. <laughs> Fine. Continue telling me about Matarame's case. Keep it concise and only of the truth. How about you? Come on, you two need to get your act together. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then! Or domestic-raised eel. We don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. It's not like that. Oh, of course not! When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Wanna go appreciate some fine arts for once? Fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. 
Well, if everyone's going... It's settled, then. Just the phrase, going to an art exhibit, sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Okay. So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Han be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out! Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm so... Okay, you stop pushing! Ugh, there's way too many people! I'm getting crap! Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, alright? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, since he creates all this by himself, he's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei! Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. 
That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person! This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this... strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <clears throat> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than... this one. Come now, this way. totally elbowed me. But thanks to that, I remember now. Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, this post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah. Is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden! What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Here's a question. Oh, not bad. Kamashita, former Olympian. The reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. takamaki -san. You two are here as well? Hey, sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> 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 
Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? If he hated children so much to harm them, he would never allow pupils into his home. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke, what's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like... Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh. Found. Hey, the app! Was it picking up our conversation? This display... It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we. Getting navigation? Whoa, really? It's 
so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? A palace is a scenery driven by desires. Just like how Kamoshida's palace was a castle. Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? He got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. I should write something. 